A new star season alpha 3.24 P2 patch for Evo Cardi has dropped. We're going to talk about that as well as what we can expect this week. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. So now in regards to this patch, the testing focus remains at uh, personal and instant hangers, freight elevators, storage access, hover trolleys, hangar decorations. What's not being tested right now is cargo haul emissions, cargo commodity, rebalance, as well as dynamic event blockade runner. Tons of known issues. We're not going to cover that here. Under features and gameplay, under the gameplay category, it says master mode, atmo, flight controller retuning. It says here, made slight atmospheric flight controller retuning for Valkyrie Raft Spirit A1 and C1 Star Runner, um, Star Fighter, Star Lifter, and variants. Buccaneer, Caterpillar, Starfarer, and Cutlass, and it's variants i'm curious to see how this will fly once we get our hands on it up next it says soft death breaching polish it says set default breach amount for exterior doors to 100 during soft death fix up the cutlass freelancer and constellation breach amounts it says here added mission items filters to freight elevator management Okay, okay, so what this means is, yeah, if you have certain items within your inventory at the warehouse or whatever, you can filter those out just to let you know which ones are uh, related to your mission. So this gives me the idea of having missions that will last for a few days, right? Hopefully when we, when we get there, because Elite Dangerous has this concept where you have a cargo mission, and you pick up the cargo and they'll give you like two days to deliver it to its location. So you can um, take the mission, fly a little bit, log off, come back in the next day, log back in. The cargo will still be in your ship and then you still have to make it there to deliver it. And um, as long as you get it there um, before the two day limit, for example, then it works. So I can see um in the future where we can get missions and store the mission items in our inventories in our warehouses and um picking them up later to complete our mission um a little further down the line that'd be pretty cool so next it says ships and vehicles reduce the asperia prowlers emission to make it more in line as a stealth drop ship interesting so there's a few bug fixes with this one they fixed an issue with external elevator doors are failing to open when elevators carrying players arrive at persistent anchors within the persistent universe they fix an issue where player transitioning from vehicle transit carriage to instant hangar floor will instead transfer to the planet's physics grid and fall through the surface that sucks um they fix an issue where wallet or auac is uh not updating when purchasing cargo they fix an issue where hospital storage access kiosks do not access local inventory they fix an issue where no interaction for hangar elevators after server crash recovery they fix an issue where quitting the client can break the exit bed interaction interesting the fiction issue where the client frame rate dropped massively causing client to stall briefly during shuttle ride from orson to august on low spaceport they fix an issue when uh, visiting and using instance hangers in stanton there are an extreme number of physics performance warning trace logs about hangar assets that spam the client game log they fix an issue uh, regarding the vanguard max speed being much higher than the intended uh, making it uh 1111 meters per second they fix an issue pertaining to the gray cat roc where the roc cannot climb hills that's a good fix right there um along with this is four client crashes six server crashes all right so in regards to what we can expect this week jump town to puno will be starting tomorrow so good opportunity for us to make some money as well as to get involved with some pvp scenarios we can expect uh, monthly reports both for the pu and squadron 
uh, this Wednesday. And then inside Star Citizen, they're going to be talking about uh, server meshing. It says dev diary. So I don't know what that means, but um, the subject will be server meshing. And then on Friday, they'll be going over making missions part two uh, game dev. All right. All right. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, find our discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.